Okay, so Jared, you know the Hawks are down 3-1, right? Yeah. Do you still have the Hawks winning the series? Yeah, game seven. So, so you think the Hawks are going to win game seven? I mean, are going to take yeah. it to game seven games? I ain't going to lie, though. It's possible. Last night when we lost, I was like, I don't know. But it's like no matter how much the Hawks let me down, bro, I just can't give up faith for some reason. Because yep. even when they let me down, they always come in last second and make it up, you know? Just like they did with, with the play-in tournament, right? It was like I, I, I felt so let down that we didn't even make it to the playoffs. But then we made it to the play-in tournament and almost lost to Cleveland, but they made a fourth quarter comeback and won. Yeah. And Jared, why are you talking like that, bro? Because I already know we're going to win, but... Check me out. If we so say for example, right? If we want to take it to seven games, we're going to Miami right now for game five. If we find a way to pull through for game five, then game six is going to be in Atlanta, and home court advantage. We could probably take that one too. Last night, bro, when bro when we was playing, it was like we didn't put no effort, bro. It's like we was barely trying. Did, was, was you watching the game last night? Yes, bro. I it's like we like... wasn't even trying. It's like we was just like letting them win. It, yeah, we, tried, we played bad last night. Bro, it's it's ball. stuff like that that makes me wonder. Like, yo, is the NBA scripted? Like, because Serge hit me up and said, bro, I hope the NBA is scripted, and, bro, and they're finna yeah. make a comeback because it looked like they was not trying at all. And, I, and when I was watching it, it didn't look like we were trying at all. So, yeah, it, that, it really makes me wonder. It's very possible that it could be scripted. Yeah, I, sometimes I really do think the NBA is scripted by some some by some by of the way things be going. Like, bro, because if you see sometimes, like, bro, they let me leave and, like, players wide some, open. Yeah, so, yeah, sometimes people be missing, like, easy buckets and... Raspy being... Like, Kevin Durant, you said Kevin Durant just missed a wide-open shot. Like, wait. Yes, Kevin Durant did. Kevin Durant just missed a layup. You know they're... Exactly. How does... It's stuff like that that makes me question if it's scripted. Because, literally, Kevin Durant is known as one of the most unguardable players ever. And he's getting locked down by Jason Tatum. And, and I guess Marcus Smart, he got Defensive Player of the Year. But he ain't... I don't think that's good enough to lock down Kevin Durant. But listen, bro, <laughs> let me tell you some circumstances. Jimmy Butler gets injured. If Jimmy oh, Butler Jimmy gets Bell injured, if, if Jimmy Butler gets bro. injured, the series is over. <laughs> the series is done. Ben Lombardo was on a day-to-day. -day. Kyle Lowry was out for the day. To, Jimmy Butler is literally their heartbeat, bro. If you took, like, it's literally the heart of the team. You took away Jimmy Butler, they're nothing, bro. He's fueling everybody. Trey Young's been doing bad. Bogey's actually not been doing good. He had one good quarter in game two and game three. And that's DeAndre, it. That's DeAndre Hunter is actually our most scoring player in the playoffs. I'm going to say this now. If it wasn't for DeAndre Hunter, we wouldn't be doing good. We're not doing uh, good. I, I think, I, but that's the thing, Nick. I think we would already got swept if DeAndre Hunter wasn't playing as good as he is. True, but Trey Young did come in clutch to um to win. Yeah, yeah that, but no, but he made it. He drilled a deep three to tie the game before that. Yeah, I seen that shot too. That shot was crazy. It was crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Dang, bro. So yeah, bro. Maybe I don't wish injuries on nobody. Like I don't want anybody to get hurt. But slick, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want. Jimmy Butler to sit out or something. Like I want I, something. I don't, I don't want him to get injured. But I don't I want, want him to get seriously hurt. I just want him to get hurt enough so he can't play. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want him to like like break his pinky and then he gets healed like the next day. No, what you know what it's called when you get swept um four one? That's called a gentleman swept. So we're. I don't think we're gonna get gentleman swept. Because I don't think we're going to lose the next game. I think we're going to win the next game. I think we're good the next game. It's possible that they could beat us in six. But I'm not 100% sure if they're going to win next game. I feel like we're going to win next game. 
because when our back is against the wall, bro, and we have no choice but to win or go home, we we do good. Same what we did with the Hornets in Cleveland. Literally, we had to win two games in a row without losing, or we were going home, and we won both of them. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So if we're able to pull off this game tomorrow, bro, freaking, I think we, I think it'll give us the momentum to win at home, the next game. But listen, bro, if we do lose tomorrow, which we're not, but if we do, and we get gentlemen swept, who needs to get traded? That's such a good question. Something because Jared, if we if we get gentlemen swept tomorrow, actually if we lose this playoff series at all, I think we're probably done. I think someone's getting traded. You know who they're talking about trading? John Collins. Yeah, they keep talking about trading John Collins. They're talking about trading John Collins, Kevin Herter, and Jalen Johnson. Okay. That's the thing. Okay. They don't. Why would you try Jalen Johnson? You barely give him any minutes, okay? But Jalen Johnson has potential, bro. Jalen Johnson has great potential. There's a lot of people that are going to take Jalen Johnson just for his potential, bro. I'm saying, if I was like, if I could like choose who goes on the Hawks and who doesn't, I'd like low key keep Jalen Johnson and see how he turns off. Maybe, bro. I I think we should trade. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Kevin Herter might have to go. Kevin Herter. Kevin Herter had a bad, bad night. Last Bogey, even though Bogey gets streaky sometimes, Bogey is one of the biggest reasons why we come back in most of the games yeah, that we do I, come I back in. Bogey, so Bogey, Bogey should not get traded. Like the only reason we're in the she had to be real because he clutched up for Cleveland. Every, every, almost every single time we come up clutch or come back, it's Bogey who's the one that sparks it, and Trey Young will come in last second and score the last two or three points and finish it. That's usually how it is. Or and and Lou Williams, but they haven't been giving Lou Williams no time, so Lou Williams hasn't been able to finish. He's he's fake injury. He just doesn't want to play. Talking about some low back soreness. He's like he's seen the dinosaurs play with. All right. I'm, I'm finna end this video, but yeah, not gonna lie. They're talking about there was a um, rumor about um, a first round pick, Donovan Mitchell, and someone else on the Jazz for Jalen Johnson, Kevin Herter, and John Collins, which I wouldn't be, Ooh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be lie. too like, too mad at. But I I I ain't gonna lie. You said who? Uh huh? Who are they giving us? Violet who? The a first on pick, Donovan Mitchell, and some other jazz player. It depends the jazz player. We need like their rookie for good potential. But yeah, bro. I I don't really want no player that's been playing seven years and is like washed up and trash. I don't want none of that either, bro. I want a I want a good I want we need another superstar. We need another Trey Young, bro. Because we see all these teams with like multiple superstars. The Nets have Kyrie and Kevin Durant. I don't want to say it, but we kind of need a better small forward. Because we only have, like, really one good small forward. Small forward, our freaking, is freaking, you're right. Because, freaking, we had DeAndre Hunter off the, off, in, in our starting lineup. And then we had Kevin Herter as our small forward, as our, as our bench. But, Kevin Herter is now playing shooting guard. Because Bogey's playing shooting guard on the bench. And then, they have, who do they got playing small forward off the, off the bench? Um, the, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't. Who do they have playing small forward off the bench? Gallinari is power forward. And Yeko Kongu center. DeLon Wright is um point guard. DeLon Wright plays point guard and shooting guard. Bogey plays shooting guard, bro. So then that means... Is it TLC? TLC is a power forward. I don't know. But, um, yeah... Jang's a center. It might be Skylar Mays. No, bro. He's, he's our backup. He's not even on our bench. Yeah. We don't even really have... All we don't right. really just throw anyone at small forward. Probably, bro. Yeah, probably, Jared, because we... Dave McMillan never really throws in the whole bench at once. He usually keeps, like, one or two starters in. Yeah. All right, bro. Good chat, man. Good chat.